What's up mga ka-TSP? Pasensya na po kung higit isang linggo na po akong hindi nakakapag-post. Inaasikaso ko lang po yung mga sets ko. Pero don't worry, susubuan ko pa rin maglabas ng informative content as much as possible para sa inyo. Okay, napansin ko lang ano, yung video na patungkol sa mga tinador under 10k, marami din nagtatanong sa akin. How about yung mga ibang tinador na over that price range? Well, this idea came into my head at ito meron na naman tayong bagong series kung saan tatalakayin natin lahat ng kaya natin talakayin na suspension brands, harap man o sa ligod. This is to provide more information sa mga nagbabalak mag-upgrade ng suspension ng bisikleta nila. With so many other brands out there, this is a hard task to complete. Pero by liking this video and subscribing to our channel, it makes us more inspired to create more informative videos for our fellow bikers. Okay, so ang unang brand na tatalakayin natin ay ang SR Suntour. Ito ay dahil aware ako na marami sa atin ang hindi ganun kaseryoso sa cycling. And by that, I mean hindi tayo ganun kawiling na mag-shell out ng maraming pera for our bikes. Dahil marami pang ibang gastusin or for service and exercise purposes lang ang mga bike natin. Pero aware din na kung may party tayong gustong pagandayin ng performance ng mga bisikleta natin, sadyang nananaig lang sa atin ang pagiging practical. If you're in that type of scenario, SR Center is one of your go-to choices. The forks and rear shocks are packed with features at a really, really, really affordable price point, making them the practical choice when you're in a tight budget. So yun, tingnan natin kung anong mga available sa market natin ng mga tinidor at shocks nila for the year 2020. Pabaliktad naman tayo ngayon. Unahin natin ang mga gravity forks nila. Ito ang kanilang DH fork, ang rocks. Sounds familiar? Meron kasing isang manobela sa market natin na kapangalan yung fork na ito. Well, it ain't exactly cheap sa alagang 45k, give or take, makakabiligan na ng bagong bike doon. Pero isipin mo, doble ng presyo nito ang RockShox Boxer or kaya yung Fox 40. Kaya kung maigpit ang budget mo para sa downhill build mo, dito ka na sa rocks. And let's check out the specs. This fork offers 200ml of travel which is the standard for DH. The lowers accommodate either 26 or 27.5 inch wheels. Straight steerer siya so pwede siya sa non-taper the frame. And yung dropouts niya ay pang 20 by 110mm na true axles. The lowers are made out of magnesium and the crowns are made out of hollowed aluminum. The stanchions, ooh! 38mm hard anodized A7000 aluminum stanchions. For comparison, a boxer only has 35mm stanchions. So imagine ninyo kung gaano ka-stiff itong tinidor na ito. Now let's talk about the internals. On the damper side of the fork, you only have one damper option for this fork. The R2C2 PCS damper, which is technically their top tier level damper. Ano ba yung R2C2 na yan? Well, meron siyang adjusters for high-speed compression and low-speed compression as well as high-speed and low-speed rebound, yung PCS ngay. PCS is an IFP or internal floating piston cartridge. It basically separates the oil from air as much as possible at all times para maiwasan ng cavitation. Okay, what is cavitation? Cavitation is kapag nagmimix yung air bubble sa oil, ang ride feel na makukuha mo ay malambot. That was after a rough section, biglang matagtag na yung tinidor. Hindi siya consistent. Kumbaga kung naka-IFP yung tinidor mo, consistently smooth ang play niya mula sa taas hanggang baba ng bundok. Yung air cartridge siya ngay. The 2020 forks featured the EQ air spring or yung equalizer system. Kung yung dati ay coil ang negative spring niya at mano-mano pa ang pag-tune doon, dito ay air na ang kanyang negative spring and self-adjusting na siya. So isiset mo lang yung sag mo at bahala na siya mag-adjust sa'yo. Weight is at a medyo heavy 2,845 grams para sa 27.5 boost model. Itong Suntour Durolax ay sobrang pumatok sa market natin, lalong-lalo na sa mga enduro riders. Bakit baka mo? Ang taas kasi ng level ng adjustability niya, having the R2C2 cartridge as an option. Tapos sobrang mura niya lang relative sa features na ino-offer niya. At around 24,000 for the R2C2 model and around 19k for the RC2 model. Other forks with same level of adjustability naglalaro around 40k pataas. So talagang obvious choice itong Durolux kung nakabudget ka. Let's check out the specs. This fork offers 150 to 180 mil of travel. So mula all mountain hanggang enduro ang sakop niya. 
Yung lower skin fit 29 or 27.5 inch wheels, tapered ang steerer niya for more stiffness sa head tube. Dropouts are 15 by 110 boost axle compatible. Lowers, magnesium pa din siya. Yung stanchions are 36 mil units, hard anodized black, A7000 aluminum din ang material. Kasing taba nung sa Fox 30, so obvious na stiff itong mga tinador na ito sa laki ba naman ng mga stanchion nito. Now for the internal sa damper, you have three options, R2C2, RC2, and RC. All options except for the RC damper have the PCS system para consistent ang performance niya. For this model year, available ng EQ Air Spring option para sa Duralux. Pero magdadagdag ka pa ng pera para doon. Weight is at a solid 2.2 kilograms, not that bad for an Enduro fork, though not exactly lightweight with the R2C2 model. This is the Suntour Oron. This is SR Suntour's higher end trail fork or yung pang feel ng gap between the Axon and the Duralux. It has the same internals as the Duralux save for longer travel options and the loss of high-speed rebound compression. Starting from 16k give or take, it's still cheaper than other priced trail forks with similar adjustment features. Specs, this fork offers travel options from 130 to 160 mil of travel. So it's in the same category with the Fox 34 and the RockShox Spike. Lowers can fit 27.5 and 29 inch wheels. Tapered only ang steerer option niya. Dropouts also use the 15 by 110 boost standard. The lowers are magnesium. Yung stanchions niya ngay ay 35 mil in diameter. The same width as the RockShox Spike at mas mataba lang ng onti sa Fox 34. Internals, you don't get the option of high speed rebound adjustment with this fork. Instead, you get the RC2 damper or two lockout dampers, both with high speed compression. Air spring niya ay yung may coil negative spring, hindi na po option yung equalizer. Weight is at a fairly heavy 2.1 kilograms with the RC2 dampered model. Meet the Oron's little brother, the Aeon. Kumbaga parang Oron din siya pero lesser grade materials and downgraded yung dampers niya. Starting from 14K, napakaraming ibang options dyan with the same adjustability features. So kung ako sa inyo, onti na lang, mag-oron na lang kayo kung gusto ninyong dumaan sa Suntour Road. Anyway, specs, parehas ang travel options nila ng Oron from 130 to 160 mil, available po siya. Hiniram niya yung chassis niya sa Oron, but yung mga stanchions niya ay gawa sa lesser grade M6000 aluminum. Internals, isang damper lang nito ang may PCS tech, which is yung RC PCS damper. The rest, sabi na lang nating dampers sila ng Epixon. Pati sa air spring, basta ang isipin mo na lang, parang buffed up version ng Epixon nito. Weight is a tad bit more than the Oron at 2.13 kilograms for the RC dampered model. Now we go to the XC range. Actually, meron pang isang trail fork, yung Z-Run. Pero di siya available locally, so pass. Anyways, this is the Axon Works, the high-tech, lightweight XC fork ng Suntour. The difference with the quote-unquote regular Axon is meron itong carbon na crown and better internals. Price, basta ang alam ko lang, 30,000 plus ang SRP nito. Bibihira lang kasi nagbebenta nito sa Pilipinas. Specs, this is a good move from Suntour. Dati kasi, carbon ang lowers niya. So limited lang siya to 100 mil of travel. Pero dahil gawa na sa magnesium itong lowers niya, travel is now from 100 to 120 mil. Pwede na siya for technical XC. Stanchions balik A7000 aluminum na tayo and for 2020, 34 mil na ang diameter niya. All in the name of stiffness. Dropouts, ginagamit niya ang 15 by 110 boost standard. Again in the name of stiffness. So for internals, iisa lang ang damper option available, yung RLRC PCS, which is good for the pro level kasi sa XC ba pedal ka lang ng pedal. So makakatulong yung lockout feature niya. PCS tech guarantees the same performance sa buong ride. Equalizer takes two factors, your weight and yung profile lang terrain. Para mag self-adjust siya for optimum small bump sensitivity while making sure na andoon pa rin yung support in heavy hits. Weight at a respectable 1.59 kilograms, magana siya, but still a far cry from the real XC lightweights. Dito sa Axon na ito siguro tayo mas familiar. 
Actually, meron pa yung action eh. Lit- literal na action works, pero aloy na ang crown niya. Ang problema kasi, wala akong mahanap na nagsisirculate dito sa Pilipinas, kaya tinanggal ko na sa listang ito. Starting from 15.5, meron ka na makuha ang LORC 34 mil models. And for 8,900 pesos, makahanap ka ng mga LOR 32 mil models. Para sa price point ng LORC model, ah, sa lahat ng competition niya, wala pa rin silang adjustable open LSE. So that makes this Axon one of the best budget options available. Change my mind. Specs, parehas lang din sila na Axon Works. So sa internal, sa lang tayo. Kung RLRC damper ang sa Axon Works, dito naman ay manual lockout siya. Plus open LSC. Yung 32mm na variant, LOR damper lang siya. In short, yung damper lang ng Epixon. As far as I know, PCS na din yung damper ng 34mm na model. So sobrang sulit na talaga ng fork na ito. Yun nga lang, walang EQ tech itong air spring niya. Pero, bibili ka ba nito for the sole purpose na makapodium? Hindi naman siguro for most cases. Wait, yung 34mm mas mabigat siya sa Epixon, averaging at around 1.89 kilos. Mas magaan naman yung mga 32mm variants, averaging at 1.64 kilos. Kasi gaan na siya ng RockShox Riba, which is more than twice the price nito. At nakarating na din tayo sa air fork ng bayan, ang Epixon. Tried and tested, isa ito sa mga pinakapumapatok na tinidor sa ating market dahil number one, magandang support niya and number two, sobrang sobrang mura lang niya as low as 6,800 pesos. It's the best in its price point if you discount the action being in its price range, I call it. Specs sa mga matagal ng bikers dyan, sure ball na kabisado natin to. Travel options from 100 to 120 mil meron yan. Magnesium ang lowers niya and sadly, cure only lang siya. Stanchions meron na itong 32 mil A6000 aluminum stanchions, already proven to be enough for XC. Internals dito sa Pilipinas, the current latest iteration of this fork is only available with the LORC damper o yung tinatawag nating hydraulic manual lockout. Air sprung na din siya pero wala siyang equalizer technology. Wait, it's a fairly XC-ish at 1.83 kilos. Okay na siguro yun for a very budget-friendly fork. Itong tatlong tinidor na ito, unfortunately hindi ko na isasama si listang ito. Since number one, either ito ang papalitan ninyo and number two, advice ko lang to, There are a lot of better forks to spend your money on, konti na lang makaka-epic son ka na. Now, tingnan naman natin ang mga rear shock nila. Itong Tri-Air ay ang piggyback rear shock ng Suntour made for downhill to trail applications. Bakit? Ano ba meron kung piggyback yung shock? Fade. Ang problema kasi with linear shocks ay yung oil nila, wala ng reservoir in case na uminit siya ng todo. At kung itutuloy pang gamitin, papangit na ang performance niya. With piggybacks, meron pa rin yung magic carpet feeling kahit napakaraw di mo magride sa trails. Yun nga dahil sa mahiwagang reservoir na yan. Price usually naglalaro ito around 13k, which is definitely na sa price range ng mga bigating piggyback shock sa ating market. Specs available ito in Trunion and Standard Mounts, in Metric and Imperial Sizing, depende na lang sa specs ng frame nyo. Meron itong 3 position compression settings from open, firm, and lock. And meron din siyang rebound adjustment. Sa piggyback niya, makikita ang internal floating piston niya. And as I've mentioned earlier, it keeps performance consistent by keeping the air away from the oil. Adjustable din ang progressivity nito via air volume spacers. Ito naman ang linear shock ng Suntour for 2020. Pinapalitan niya ang do-wear shock nila for this model year with the edge. Ang price nito usually ang lalaro ito around 10,000 pesos a piece. Specs, maraming sizing options ito. Trunion or standard mount, metric or imperial sizing. Again, depende na yan sa frame mo. Ginagamit nito ang LOR or yung RLR damper which means open at lockout lang ang modes niya. Meron ding mga damper option na may 8 sa dulo niya. Meaning 80% open yung lockout position niya para sa mga hindi fans sa matagtag na suspension. May rebound na din siya and adjustable din ang pagiging progressive ng shock na ito using air volume spacers. 
Ito ang pinaka-entry level shock ng Suntour and its price is around 6,000 pesos which is very cheap for a rear shock kung titignan mo. Spec standard mount lang siya and luckily, available siya in both imperial and metric sizing. For the dampers, you either choose lockout only or rebound only, hindi pwedeng both. Hindi din siya nalalagyan ng volume spacers para sana matono yung progressivity niya. So ayun no, Whew. natalakay na natin ang front and rear suspension options ng Suntour available for the year 2020 dito sa Pilipinas. With that said, maraming salamat sa panonood mga ka-TSP. See you next time. God bless and peace out.